About three years ago, we made a video where we created a play button out of pure sodium metal. During our testing phase, we learned exactly how explosive sodium metal is when it's submerged in water. For our finale or money shot, we dropped our one full pound of sodium metal that was made into a play button into water, and the result was, it was, it was pretty insane. However, there was a mystery surrounding this particular clip, and I didn't really notice it until, of course, the comment section reviewed it under a microscope. When the explosion happens, there appears to be a large shiny object that flies away very quickly. And at first, I thought that it was just perhaps a piece of the plastic container that caught the sunlight exactly right. But after re-examining that clip a couple times, now I'm just really unsure. Now on the day of the shoot, I explicitly remember walking around the vicinity looking for any unreacted sodium metal. And I remember not seeing anything. So the jury is still out whether our sodium play button fully reacted or if it partially reacted and then just flew away into the desert somewhere. So this whole process got me really curious about how sodium metal explodes in water. The way this reaction works is actually insanely interesting. When the sodium goes into the water, the water pulls away electrons out of the metal, leaving it positively charged. And just like two positive ends of a magnet that repel each other, the metal begins to repel itself and initiates the explosion. This is followed by hydrogen gas creation that ignites under the exothermic conditions, leading to steam, sparks, and this really cool looking orange fiery explosion. So knowing this information on how sodium metal actually explodes in water, this got me really curious about what would the optimal shape of a piece of sodium metal be for maximum explosion? Now, I've seen videos from the Action Lab where they flattened a piece of sodium metal and then sprayed it with water, and it didn't really look like it exploded much. It kind of just like burst into flames. I've seen other videos where people have like oblong strange chunks of sodium and they throw them into water and they kind of skip around a bunch and then explode. And so this got me thinking that perhaps the best shape for the sodium would be something that is the most uniform. That way it could build the most amount of momentum while repelling itself apart. And the most uniform shape would be a sphere. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna test three pieces of sodium all the same weight. And we're gonna make them different shapes. The first one will be a flat pancake shape. The other will be like an elongated cube. And then the last one will be a sphere. So there we go. It's not a perfect sphere, but it's pretty dang close for me literally just sculpting it myself. We're gonna wrap each of these pieces in a plastic net and we're gonna weight them down with leaded weights. Now we're doing this so that we can totally increase the maximum contact with water. That way they don't create hydrogen and then skip around the surface of the water, which would lead to inconsistent results. All right, let's head out to the desert and see what happens. We're measuring out roughly 12 gallons per container. Yeah. All right, it's certainly windy out here, and so that's going to probably change the results a bit since it's gonna be blowing water every which direction, but I think we'll have a pretty good understanding uh, because the wind will be consistent throughout this entire process. So the first piece of sodium that we're gonna work with is the pancake. So I'm gonna wrap that up into uh, essentially like, uh, I'll just show you. So I got this thing right here, which just holds potatoes, and it's porous enough that enough water will be able to interact with the sodium almost instantaneously. So we're gonna wrap that up and then throw it into our 12 gallons of water. All right. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna throw this whole thing and then this will weight it down. All right, let's roll the cameras and let's do this. This is number two. This is the uh, elongated cube piece. I really don't know how much more explosive it can get, but uh, this is gonna be interesting.
Number three, the spear. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okay, there we go. The results for this experiment were literally completely opposite. I really thought the sodium sphere was gonna be the most explosive, but it turns out the sodium pancake is actually the one that was both more explosive with its velocity shooting water out everywhere, but also it reacted a lot faster. Now, one of the reasons that I thought this may have happened is because we increased the total surface area of the sodium, therefore we allowed more water to react with it all at once. Um, but I'm not actually sure. So in the comment section down below, let me know what are your theories? Why did the flat piece explode so much more than the sphere and the elongated cube? Also, we started a brand new merch line. It's called Like and Follow. We started the merch line with the Cali hoodie. I've probably worn that hoodie in over a hundred videos on this YouTube channel. There's a link in the description down below. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.